Hey, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. In this really short video, I'm going to review this Ryobi hot glue gun. I got this about a month ago. I've been using it. My wife's been using it. We've been, you know, doing crafts and stuff like that with, as you can see, it's bat battery powered. It uses the Ryobi 18 volt, what do they call it? Plus one batteries. This happens to be the smallest. I think you can get the two amp hour. I'll go ahead and plug, turn it, uh, plug the battery in and turn it on. It does take a little while to get, um, heated and actually be usable so let me check what time it is okay it's 12 30 right now so let's see how long it takes to get this fully heated in the meantime let's check what the weight actually is looks like 29 ounces with the battery which is 823 grams so that's the one kind of drawback if you've used like a small cheap one that you plug in this is a lot bigger this is a lot bulkier it's a lot heavier you know the big advantage is you just plug a battery into it you don't have to worry about the cord and we didn't like the other little one because you plug it in but it's so light itself it would just kind of fall over sometimes and make a mess or burn you this is like you can stand it up which is nice you can even lay it down you know it's pretty good but the one thing it doesn't improve on from those ones is once it starts flowing uh, the glue it will drip you know unfortunately I was kind of hoping maybe they figured out something spending more money on this and by the way I want to say it's cost 25 bucks or 20 bucks without the battery so yeah it does still drip so once it starts heating up you do need to put like a napkin or paper under it uh, they didn't improve on that any one thing I should mention is the diameter of this uh, glue stick is not the small one that you may be you might be used to this is the thicker one I'll put in the comments or description what one this is, or maybe I'll even put a link in Amazon so you can get both this and the glue sticks, but they are thicker. The good thing about the thicker, bigger glue sticks is we go through them uh, slower. They're, they're maybe two or three times as much glue in them, so you tend to go through them more slowly. This did come with three, two or three. I think we're on our second or third one right now, so they do last quite a bit longer. The way to operate it is, you know, couldn't be more simple. You just put the battery in. You flip the switch on and when the red light is on it means it's on or heating and then you just you know wait for it to heat up and uh looks like it's already starting to heat up but it does take a little longer to get fully hot and then of course once it's uh once it's heated you just pull the trigger like any other so i'm going to go ahead and pause it and come back when it's fully heated okay we're now at about four minutes and it is start starting to the glue is starting to melt you can see you can push it now but you should not be warned it's still not fully heated and, and you can use it like this but it's not really too good you'll find that you have to squeeze really hard to get the glue out so it's almost there I'm gonna give it like one more minute and I think we'll be ready okay we're now at six minutes and I think it's fully heated now one thing I should mention and it did smoke a little bit is that it does smoke you know, so sometimes you'll see a little bit of smoke coming from the tip, and that's we had the same thing with our other cheapy one too. But uh, yeah, I mean, I'll just give you a little demo of it of it working here on this napkin. As you can see, you can get a lot of glue out with this one. That was one. See, now there's some smoke coming. That was one uh, squeeze of the trigger. So maybe I can demonstrate that again. There you go. So you get a lot of glue out of this one with these bigger sticks and this long throw on this trigger. Um, yeah, but that's pretty much it. After about five, six minutes, it's fully heated and, and ready to use. You know, it's uh, it's pretty good. You can also do some finer work too, I suppose. Let me see if I can demonstrate that. Just like some little, little dots of glue you can do, of course. Maybe not quite as fine as the small ones, but you know, that's a glue gun. I think that's all. I think that's all I really have to say about it. It's a good. It's been a good product so far. So far, I'm happy with uh, with it. It does take, of course, a little while to cool down. So even though I switched the switch off, it's you know still hot, and uh, will take a, you know another five plus minutes to cool down. But yeah, that's about it. I'm happy with it. We are using it. We you know for what it's worth, we haven't used our other one since, and I don't think we will. It's just so easy to grab a battery, stick it in, and just go. All right, that's about it. Thanks everybody for watching. See you in the next one.